Hello, and welcome to the sketchbook tour. This sticker here, I helped my friend's band Monolithic Witch design, and that is one of my custom stickers. The sketchbook's from 2019 to 2020, so it's a little bit old, but I have changed my style a lot since then. This drawing here on the left was colored with crayon, as most of the drawings in here are, and when I made it, I labeled it as a self-portrait. <laughs> Not because I look like that, but because it's how I felt. And here's a doodle from class. This one here on the left I really like and I really want to redraw because I love the concept, but I think I could do it better, especially that hand. But he's got a moth on his head because it's drawn to the flame in front of him. And here on the right is kind of a funny one because my mom said I don't draw anything happy. So I drew a bunch of smiling people around the screaming guy in the middle. Here we have on the left a large page of doodles all taped in there, this little guy Yeb, and here in the big guy's mouth, apparently a lot of people don't see it, but there's a girl on a swing in his mouth. It was for Inktober, I'm pretty sure. There's just a bunch of other random doodles scattered about. And to our right we have a rainbow cat with lots of lines. Now here on the left, I actually really don't like this drawing. I feel like I could have done the coloring better. A lot of the just general <laughs> design, yeah. But I like this page though. The whole uh, composition of all the papers together. And I feel like I did pretty good on that portrait, even though it was from a while ago. And these pink guys, I love those pink guys. Now on the left, we've got suit dog. <laughs> He's wearing a suit. He's a dog. I liked drawing things with their mouths open a lot at this time in my life, I'm not sure why. And um, here's just some other drawings that don't really need an explanation. Here on the left, this smushy blob of orange faces. I really like how the blending turned out with those uh, Crayola crayons, they can really work well. And this lady I drew in psychology class. She's got faces growing out of her head. Here lies the original design for my stickers, and piece of a Starbucks cup wrapper. And this lady, I really like the eyes, but not so much the bottom half of the face. And there's a little post-it note guy, and tiny scissors. Yet another person with their mouth open, and me in the top left corner, with a lot of weapons pointed at me. <laughs> Here um, in the bottom left corner, this was for an Inktober prompt once again. The pumpkin guy might have been too, but I'm not sure. I don't really like how his coloring turned out. And here's a cat. Very sloppy cat with spindly legs. And a bunch of fish guys. You see, the one on the bottom right was inspired by Junji Ito. Specifically the eyes, I think. And this is a drawing I didn't like that much, so I cut it up. Taped it in sideways. Now here, this one's really cool. On the left is an album cover I designed for a band called Willpower. They're on Spotify, and if you look at the album picture, it's my drawing. I just think that's so neat. And on this page, I um, really like this four panel thing with different patterns that I drew, but I'm not sure why the ink kind of bled under the tape and onto the snowman. It doesn't look that good. Here we've got a green man, and he's like, where'd my hand go? And he doesn't seem to realize that they're they're all growing out of his head. Poor guy. He's got a spider on his elbow though. It's pretty cool. And here we've got an MSI drawing, Jimmy Urine, and a band logo design for Newcastle, and a bunch of doodles from 2 a.m. when I went back to this page. This one on the left used a lot of highlighters and blue pen. I actually think it might be from 2018, because that's when I was kind of going through a thing where I like to use blue ballpoint pens a lot and the cross hatching thing stayed though I still do that and here's Paul he's my cat character and he's sad because it's Monday don't mistake him for Garfield though here on the left we've got some sort of little fire demon looking guy and some other doodles I've taped in onto the page and at the bottom I drew this one girl I knew named Willow and also taped a sign in that said squeegee this page was for art class. We were drawing pictures of people we found in magazines. Here on the left, top left, we've got another Inktober drawing. 
I see the prompt was overgrown. And this guy on the bottom left is actually recent, but I taped it in because there was an empty spot. And this page was actually a dream I had. It was pretty funky. Here we've got, on the left, okay, that big muscular rabbit, I called it Gregory, and a bunch of other random doodles. I really like that dog in the corner, though. He's cool. That was my first post to reach 100 likes, actually, was of that dog. And here we've got a drawing of Zelda. I really like how the coloring turned out on her dress. These set of pages, um, well, the top was an Inktober drawing. I don't like it. And the bottom, I was trying to make another cat character, who I do still draw sometimes, that has variations of clothes opposed to Paul, and has a dot nose instead of a pointy one. But I still have no name for this creature. And on this page, we've got more of that cat person, and some silly doodles. Nothing really finished and, uh detailed here, but it's still a pretty nicely put together page in my opinion. This one's a really silly drawing because it's in a metal font and I was like doing it because it's like progressive metal but progressive. <laughs> and this page is also mo mostly just doodles. You see at the top with some leaves I kind of ripped into a heart shape, except one of them actually came like that, that I found it like that. And there's an Inktober drawing of some little guys getting stomped on. And there's my cat. She kept trying to get in the video and stepping on the sketchbook. I had to refilm so much of this. And here we've got little cat dude again. I actually made that one into a sticker as well, but those are almost out. I drew this spiky guy in math class. And here's another page with pretty much just doodles all over it and leaves. I really liked this face, however, might do something more with that. And the coloring on this old tree man was pretty cool. And this detail here, if you look really closely at her shoulder, it looks like opal or something. It looks so cool, I don't know how that happened with the crayons. Here's some more just black pen drawings. Kind of depressing, ignore that. You've got this little guy with hands. These pages, I do not like. They, they, I just don't. <laughs> I like this guy with the shoe, however, but the f whole filling in I did with the words and the crayon, I just don't like how it looks. And this guy's head is kind of falling apart. That was cool. This was also for an Inktober prompt, I believe. And here are some more pages that I really dislike. Because the way that I put everything together does not look good, in my opinion. Yeah, I even wrote there that I kind of hate this page. I like this drawing, though, with the guy with the music coming out of his ears. And there's a little fellow saying, Leaves! Okay, um, I don't know how to feel about these pages. I think I do really like the one on the right. This one was for a band logo commission. And here's... Another leaf, a pretty large one, taking up half the page. But this one, when I drew this, I think it was mainly for hand practice, but after I drew it, I was like, man, I wish I had that sweater. That looks so comfy, and it's like orange and purple. Those colors go so good together. Now, this page on the left um, is kind of messy. It's just got a lot of things, but I really like that pink post-it note girl in the corner. And here, we've got a dog and a face. Okay, we're turning over the look at the dog. I drew that on a plane. And this was a drawing of like a human version of Hello Kitty. I like the colors I used, but I don't think she looks very nice. Like, I think I could have done a different face shape. But those tights with the purple under them look pretty cool. Also, I love... How this little green tea mug turned out. It looks so cute. Both of these pages were kind of drawn on very bad days. But like you see this guy in the crayon right here. He's very distressed. And colored nicely if I may add. But there's some sad guys down here. This was a handout from a concert my brother played at with his old band. Same with a lot of the tickets in here. They're from that sort of thing. And... 
This was kind of an abstract mess of scribbles, but there are a few faces in there if you can find them. Like this guy, very smudged. Him as well. And this one's my favorite. And here on this page, on the left, there's not that much drawing going on, but there's Bimbert. It's like a robot. And we've got a moving cat Valentine's card thing. And a note from my teacher in 8th grade. <laughs> and some more drawings. A sticker from Bad Cop, Bad Cop. I saw them at Warp Tour. Now this lady, I really like the drawing. Her hair is so cool. Here on the left, this cat eating a sardine or a tiny fish or whatever it is is um my most liked post on instagram so it's like at 370 i think maybe i should just cater to furries more <laughs> and this is actually an old one from 2018 i think this page was so fun i drew it at a comic store it was also a cafe and i was drinking coffee it was just a nice lovely day and I filled it up with so many doodles. That's really my favorite thing to do. Not big pieces, but just doodling faces all over. It's really how you get good at one thing. Just draw it all the time. If you do notice, most of my drawings are of the same subject matter. I really like that face with star eyebrows. <laughs> and this is um, similar to the Hello Kitty one. It's my melody as a person. I like the, the socks and the shoes. Also, side note, I realize I'm holding the mic pretty close to my mouth, so if it sounds bad or if you can hear like spit in my mouth, I'm sorry, that is so gross, but um, I'm, I'm just trying to make it sound clear. Here this page, I just um, borrowed a bunch of highlighters from people all day at school and used them up and then returned them after class because I didn't have any. But this face up here, I really like it. It's so endearing and sad. And these two ladies I drew on a plane. Had to get all my crayons out on the plane, I know. I just had to. <laughs> I, I like their contrasting looks, though. And this right here, there was a dead fly in my room, so I took his wings off and put them on a little piece of paper. I just thought it looked cool. I don't know if that's weird. And this is a cute little face. And this guy I drew waiting at Denny's on Christmas. This page on the left here, we've got my version of a creeper from Minecraft. Oh man. And some face, more people, nice colors. This was a history project. It makes more sense before I colored it, because it had to do with history, but I kind of covered that up with the crayons. And here on the left, I drew this and then had a picnic with my nice friend Eden, and we colored it together. That was a nice day. And here is a lamp creature. I saw a lamp, and I turned him into a guy. I really like the little mouth. It's so cute. <laughs> like the pink on it, it just works so well. The cat print in my sketchbook was actually a drawing on my wall. And here on the left, we've got cut out from a tan toned paper. This says this page is so messy. Yeah, I agree. And this was the view from where I sat in biology. I just drew the guy in front of me. And here, some random things stuck into a page. This was the face of some guy in a magazine on an airplane that I drew. And this was also another logo idea for a band called Newcastle. Here on the left we've got one of my brother's band's cards for his old band. And a scene girl. I really love how the eyes turned out and the purple and the orange. And just everything except the lower half really. And this leaf was so cool. I found it like that. It had tiny leaves attached to it and holes in it. This guy I drew when I was on a picnic by myself. I These are the trees I saw, but I just imagined there could be like a big dragon sitting there looking at me. That would have been nice. Little friend. This one on the top here was a drawing of cat and mice, except that's not the real drawing. Haha, <laughs> get pranked. That is the picture I printed of it because I sold the real one. We've got a, a lober, lobster. 
on this page it was just a bunch of random drawings I tried to make flow together. I really like this face. It's very whimsical, in my opinion. There's a splash of blue here. And it's just more random drawings. Here on the left was for an art trade with an old friend, I think. I actually really like how the coloring and the outlines turned out. I don't think I've ever posted it, though. But it looks pretty neat. I don't remember if I've ever drawn eyes in that way before. And this was a commission. The drawing is already sold, but this was a print I printed out <laughs> of a chameleon monster. He's quite cute. This is a guy. He's from Destiny, the video game. His name is Oryx, I think. He's like a bug guy. And we've got a tiny little dude in the corner, just with socks on. And here is the commission that I sold the drawing and printed out the picture to put in my sketchbook of a scorpion creature. And here on the left was a doodle from biology. Skin, first period. That feel when you exist inside of a body. Aha. Ha. That's not very funny. <laughs> and more doodles. I think I remember I asked someone what to draw and they said apocalyptic merchant and a dragon. And that is what we have here. And he had, was supposed to have like a cigar for dragon smoke coming out, but that does not look like anything like that. It looks like, like a blunt or something. And here's Alice. And congratulations, you've reached the end of the video. You get to look at all of this stuff on my wall.